Wafla Chebukati has revisited the 2022 presidential election outcome that Raila and his team continues to dispute. And he is leaving no stone unturned and no stories untold. In his statement, Wafla Chebukati revealed the following. Now, the results transmission is key. It is the last mile test. And IBC uh, tally reports for presidential elections. Uh, the law says all presidential elections, I mean, presidential election results must be electronically transmitted. And uh, we transmitted, processed and transmitted these results in a quick and speedy manner. Uh, and the forms were scanned. Uh, we call it Form 34A, which contained correct and accurate data of results aligned to each polling station. Um, the target results were available to stakeholders and the public uh, to view. And this we worked very well with the telecommunication service providers. And in a few areas where there's, there's no network, we had to bring in satellite modems. Uh, which then gave us 99.9% .9 of the telephones, which were uploaded within uh, 24 hours of closure of, of polls. My, my paper is on the role of technology in improving the integrity of the electoral process, and uh, particularly focusing on Kenya, where I served as the, the chairperson of the commission for a period of six years which ended sometime this year. Uh, this paper is about the 2022 elections in Kenya, and in particular, uh, focusing on the transmission of the uh, tally uh, results. It analyzes the system we used, how it was implemented, and how it helped increase election integrity. The paper highlights the importance of speed, transparency, and auditability in making the tally reports publicly available and set a standard that can be applied to election practice in other countries in the region. Uh, transparency in elections and all phases of the election is key to trust in the election outcomes. Uh, to achieve this, timely publication of election results is consequential. Delayed results give room for misinformation and disinformation. It's important to use transparent and efficient methods to make information uh, public. I, I looked at a report by International Idea. It says that 56% of disinformation attacks target the voting period and especially transmission of results uh, period. This is a study International Idea carried in uh, over 100 elections. So election management bodies then must invest heavily in this phase of the electoral uh, cycle. An excellent election carried over the whole electoral cycle for, and you can prepare for five years. Everything can come to naught just because of results transmission. And this phase of results transmission is what I call in my paper, the last mile uh, test. Now, what do we learn from Wafla Chebukati's revisit to the 2022 presidential outcome? One, Wafla Chebukati, U.S. Ambassador Meg Whitman, and William Smuruto are one and the same. They are speaking the same language as far as the 2022 presidential outcome is concerned. Wafla Chebukati is using the same words the U.S. Ambassador Meg Whitman used while giving her take about 2022 election outcome. Ruto also used the same words while calling out Raila Amunokodinga who attacked the U.S. ambassador for commenting about the 2022 presidential elections that he is still disputing. It's my view that many Kenyans, especially as Mula Umoja supporters, still hold the view that Ruto rigged his way to State House with the help of Wafla Chebukati in conjunction with the U.S. government. And this is turning out to be true, going by the same statements of U.S. Ambassador William Samaruto and then former IEBC Chair Wafla Chebukati who left 
without opening the servers to the public to ascertain the truth. Wafla Chebukati is trying to sanitize himself and he is doing so because auditing of 2022 election is on top of the agenda at the bipartisan talks between Azmiula Umoja and Kenya Kwanza. So Wafla Chebukati is out to make sure that the ongoing talks collapses so that the auditing of the servers doesn't take place. The second thing that we are getting from Wafla Chebukati is the current ongoing talks are going nowhere. They will collapse because it's like a setup to him and William Samaruto. And if left to go on, Wafla Chebukati will be exposed badly on how he bungled the 2022 elections. This is what we are getting from Wafla Chebukati. William Samaruto is a product of the US with Wafla Chebukati catalyzing the whole process. Hence, they can't afford to be exposed through the so-called bipartisan talks. To this end, these are just my opinions. Let me hear from you in the comments section of this video.